This recording will cover getting started with the Electude Simulator that you are going to use while being an automotive engineer for a day. The link provided on the handouts will get you to this page. You will need to register for a free account and then after that you will need to start by going to the simulator page. Try out the Electrode Simulator. That will take you to a simulation environment of a full-size car, uh, basically with the hood removed and the plastic engine cover. You can zoom in and out using your mouse scroll. We will be working uh, within uh, this area, uh, so you can adjust the view as well from this bar in there. You can close this worker. This uh, simulator is designed to give you an experience when you are maintaining a car or bringing a car for repair. That's why it has this work order. You can close this up and get the side menu in here. First thing we will need to have is a dashboard and here we are going to view the engine RPM, uh, some of the warning lights, engine uh, cooling uh, water temperature and of course the accelerator pedal and the on off switch. Additional to that, you got many tools here that you can check them out, including jump starter, wiring diagram, and so on. But we will be using the diagnostic system. And this diagnostic system will get you to uh, access the engine control module and change the setting that is located in here. This is the engine management system in this car, and this interface here basically allow you to view readings and control aspects of this unit. During the live session we will get to see what's under the hood and the different components. In this recording I just want to show you where to find the different things. So let's get started and that is first by switching on the car. So let's turn the ignition key here to the second position and that's basically to get the car uh, into uh, on mode but it's not yet started because always with a key start uh, car you'll need to get the key to the start position nowadays many cars comes with a push button and push button will be really getting the switch to this position for limited time I'm holding my mouse click I'm click and hold and that is starting it comes with a really cool sound effect that you can hear the engine. Uh, the more you come close, the louder you will hear it. You will hear it also accelerating as you push the accelerator pedal. If you want to change the audio setting, you can click on here and reduce the volume or increase it. On this lower uh, menu here, that will allow you to remove parts, change them, and get them back in. What we will be using next is the diagnostic system. And let me just arrange this in a way that I can show you more of the available parameters. So yeah, this looks good. We'll start first by identifying the vehicle. You can see all the other tabs are not. And this is what you will do in reality whenever you connect a diagnostic system to any car you will need to start by identifying the car. It will take a minute and every car comes with a vehicle identification number that is a VIN and this is unique for cars. This is a standard across the world that has 17 digits and give you almost uh, all the details related to that car. The brand, the year of manufacture and many other details. What we will be looking to is to read the values from the different sensors in this car. So we'll go to systems here, click, and then engine management. On engine management you get to have to access uh, different information and you will be able to do some tests. But what we are after here is the live data and you will get a long list of 
different values that you can uh, basically view as the engine is running we are interested in particular with the engine RPM uh, we can look at air temperature if you want but we are looking for air flow rate you can basically click on whatever value you want to read but these two are the minimum requirements to complete today's task engine RPM and air flow rate done with that I'll just get this window a bit smaller and then you can click on display selection and here I got two values you will get on top uh, of the list the value reading and then minimum and maximum of course uh, minimum RPM is zero when the engine is not turning and these are revolutions per minute maximum is 7250 in this specific engine air flow rate at the moment is 3.1 looking at the unit it's grams per second what you will be required to do is to change the accelerator pedal location basically just like if you are pushing it by your feet to reach the correct value of air flow rate based on your calculations and that will give you an RPM very important thing to mention about RPM as you're looking to it I'm not changing anything but you can see the RPM is sort of fluctuating a bit that's absolutely fine this is very normal for car engines uh, and the car engine normally idle around 1000 or a bit less than that so if you get to a reading that's slightly changing plus minus 5 10 rpms that's absolutely fine that will have minimum change on your final results so let's say air flow rate that i'm looking for is let's say 20 for example i will come to the accelerator pedal here and pull it slowly and if your audio is on you will be hearing the engine is actually accelerating i'm going to reduce that here for me just to avoid having noise on this video you can see on the graph also the reading is changing and locked for you i'm looking for 20 so i still need to get that to wherever it should go 20 okay i was lucky here to get it exactly to 20 with one click uh, so this is the RPM now 4400 uh, and this is the value you want as I mentioned it might be fluctuating a bit that's okay just give it a second to settle down and then record the value so 4600 is what I will take for this specific reading you will get this back to your sheet plug it into the provided equations and get to your final results whenever you are done with all this please feel free to come in uh, you can switch off the car keep it running uh, and then uh, come play around and try different things of the simulator I'm just going to close the diagnostic system to show you what you can do and this system whenever you get your mouse pointer above any connector you will be able to unplug it you will be able to remove parts so this is for example uh, the coil for this piston and you can just drop it in here you can replace it with a new part and put it back so click once replace this part I've got a new one now in case it was faulty now it's fixed get it back put the connector in and you can do that pretty much with all connectors around here uh, battery is there uh, and all the sensors the fuse box you can also have a multimeter to do some measurements let's measure the battery voltage for example here it should read around absolutely 12 volts so I'll leave you to check this out hopefully this short recording will get you started uh, or at least get you through a few stuck anyway thank you for watching